Welcome back to Sweet Beat TV. I'm your host, Sienna Leone, and today I'm joined by Nolan Gould, most widely known and loved as Luke from Modern Family. Hi, Nolan. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Thanks for talking to me. Thanks for being here. We're so excited. I'm a huge fan of you and the whole show, so I was super excited to do this. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for, for being a fan. It means a lot. Of course. Now, how are you holding up? Where are you right now? I'm coming to you from my studio that I built while in quarantine. I've been able to be wow. uh, kind of productive. I know I built all of that that you see, which is um, impressive for me because I have absolutely no skill in handiwork, but I've had a lot of time and I'm, uh, I'm unemployed for like the first time in my life. So <laughs> wow, <laughs> yeah. I tried to, first tried to pick time up in what, 11 years for the first time in 11 years. Um, I've been acting since I was five years old. And then I was on Modern Family from when I was 10 to 21. And uh, now I'm unemployed. What a crazy time to uh, to go through all this. But we are really lucky in the fact that we got to uh, we had to finish our season, and not a lot of shows got to do that. So we are pretty lucky. Now take us through that feeling of the last day on set. I'm sure it was so many emotions and bittersweet. Oddly, like one of my favorite days I've ever spent on set. It felt like a party and like a celebration. Every time. I would go back to my trailer, there would be like another little gift or like another little handwritten note from somebody like thanking, thanking me for being a part of the show. And, and it was just, it was really special. I love that. Not only do we, like do you guys portray it so perfectly on air as we, as our us viewers see that you guys are such a family, but to hear that you guys are that much of a family, real life is such a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah, we really are. I mean, I think I'm scheduling a um, a virtual happy hour with my TV dad, Ty Burrell, this weekend. And uh, I was just on the phone with uh, Julie texting today. And I think I'm supposed to see um, Ariel for like a socially distanced uh, little hangout session in her backyard. Now, what do you think the biggest thing you'll take from Luke? Like Luke has changed a lot. I'd say more so than most of the characters because he started as, you know, who I was as like little chubby <laughs> high-pitched you know little kid and then grew up into like what i am now and luke along the way like particularly struggled um we saw him like the last two seasons really struggling to find like where he is in the world and i think the takeaway both for me and for anybody that's watching is like i don't know that's part of growing up is finding your place in the world and even if you mess up it's okay and you will eventually come back around like it's okay to take a step back if everything's not figured out if you're yeah kind of stressing out you know we're all we've all been yeah. there throughout this if, if, weird if you're, time if you're feeling like you're not doing enough in quarantine or you know your life is kind of all over the place luke wasted like five years of his life so it's okay <laughs> and even at the end like who knows where he ended up after the show ended like you said for many of our us viewers i remember when i was watching the last episode i was like luke's grown up rico's grown up Lily's grown up like you know you you definitely feel invested which I yeah. which I love you know we have some of the the best the best fans in the world where um it's not like we don't have like crazy like comic-con fans or anything like we don't have that like that fandom but we have more of a our fans like our show meant so much to them like throughout the years yeah so it was a it journey was, yeah and for totally. a lot of people it was the one show like everyone would watch like, you know, mm -hmm. the teenage kids had their own shows, the parents had their own shows, but everyone would always get together for Modern Family. And I hope that now the show's over that it will continue being that for people as well. Now that this chapter of your life's ending, what what have you been up to? When things start back up again, I would love to, um, I would love to get another show. I mean, it's, it, was an, it was an incredible experience. I know I'll never quite find something like Modern Family. It's just being around the same people every day, uh, day in and day out, getting close to people is awesome. Uh, I've also been doing a lot of writing. Um, me and my friend have been like writing and creating this show for about three years. Uh, wow. That we're actually, yeah, I, we had our first pitch this morning uh, and was very exciting. Uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, getting um, some behind the camera work. Well, thank you for that. And I am so excited to watch you on your next ventures, your next journeys. But before I let you go, I yeah. wanted to end this just with a fun little game if you're down to play. Let's do it. Okay, awesome. So we're going to be playing Modern Family Trivia. I'm going to be guessing. I'm gonna <laughs> oh, be no. <laughs> All right, question one. So who said this? 
He's out of your league. He's reading a book. A, Claire. B, Alex. C, Cam. I'm going to go with Alex. That's, that's a little too like dry and cynical. And I'm guessing it was directed at Haley. Yep, yep. Yeah. Bingo. Okay, Alrighty. one for one. All right, number two. What was the name of the friend Cam and Mitchell called for a night out? A, Sal. B, Phil. C, Jim. Uh, definitely not Jim. <laughs> I know that is not a character. It's Sal. That's a list okay. of things. Yeah. Good job. Two right? for two. Okay, yep, cool. yep. All right, question three. What type of animal has Luke kissed on the mouth, according to Phil? A, dog. <laughs> B, horse. Or C, pigeon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's pigeon. And I really should know this. I should know that more definitively. <laughs> <laughs> three for three. You're doing good. I'm I'm impressed. Okay. You know, All Pigeon right. was just so far out there that it had to be. It had to be that. What name does Jay call Luke when he sees him on his old sister's bike? Is it A, Molly, B, Sally, or C, Dolly? <laughs> good. I think it's Sally. Yeah, that's that's very there you go. classic. Classic editor. Nine out of ten, a ninety percent. You know what? I'll take it. Still in the A. We'll hey, take man. it. Yeah, I honestly, if I was gonna get a C, C's get degrees. That's what I say. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, Nolan, thank you so much for joining us. And you guys, make sure you guys are following Nolan on his Instagram, just at Nolan Gould. Yeah. Uh, also, thank you for talking to me. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys are giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to Sweetie High down below. As always, I'm Sienna Leone and I will see you guys next video. Bye guys. Bye guys.